What's good, YouTube? How y'all doing? It's Kerry from Kerry My Creative Media, and today I'm gonna talk to you guys about what gear I use. Okay, I'm gonna go over mainly uh, just the camera bodies I use and my general purpose for each, and also I'll uh, talk a little bit about the lenses, my preferred lenses for each body, and also a, a little rundown into what audio I use. All right, so. With that being said, first off, what camera am I coming to you guys off of? I'm coming to you guys off the Canon EOS R. This camera, I've had it since 2018 and it has been my my, my breadwinner, so to say. <laughs> it, it was the first mirrorless I had and actually it's the Canon's first mirrorless camera as well. But it has been usually my go-to, especially for a lot of my social media stuff. Um, it's a great camera, shoots 4K. Uh, granted, uh, there's one downfall to it, and that's the fact that it only shoots at 8-bit. But it's okay. It's it, it, You can get away with that uh, when shooting uh, stuff for social media. So that's not too much of a big issue for me. And I love this camera. I love the fact that it doesn't overheat, thank God. And now with overheating comes camera number two, my R6. I love this camera, but I hate it. <laughs> it's it's a love-hate relationship when it comes to Canon EOS R6, and the reason being, like I said, this camera overheats. We all know that now, and it's a, a great downfall to this camera, but the image coming off this camera is exceptional. It's great, it's awesome for low light, and uh, uh, the overheating thing does really get in the way a lot uh, especially especially if I have to shoot long form content so that's why this camera usually is my go-to for gimbal work music video stuff uh, anything that's gonna be quick and shot in no longer than 15 10 to 15 minutes so to say and uh, and oh and I forgot so like I said social media work with the Canon EOS R mainly like stuff like this talking head stuff for youtube or uh, if i'm doing like some helping somebody out on a podcast that's it for the r and, and photography work a lot of photography work and canon eos r6 i go to for gimbal work shooting music videos or even some wedding snippets and stuff like that especially like if it's going to be out on the dance floor or such like that on a gimbal uh, but that that's usually my main go-to for my Canon bodies. Now, outside of Canon, I have the Blackmagic Pocket 6K, which is my go-to body for long-form stuff. So interviews, long interviews, talking head stuff, uh, shooting on uh, projects like uh, corporate stuff. And I have used it only for one short film to help somebody out on a short film, but I haven't shot it for my own short films as yet. So I, I will be getting into that a lot sooner with this body. But this body, oh man, I gotta give the S, uh, the uh, Black Magic, I gotta give Black Magic their props, man. I gotta give Black Magic their props. This camera is exceptional. It is a beast. I love it, and and it doesn't overheat. Thank God damn r6 <laughs> i mean but yeah the black magic doesn't overheat so i love that so you can go for hours and hours shooting on this thing i've shot uh an interview a couple weeks back two hours runtime on this beast and yeah two hours straight no issues whatsoever uh i love the fact that it's v mount so i can run it off a of v mount battery and the v mount batteries usually give me uh the T uh, good juice for the time I need so that that is awesome and I love the fact with the black magic that you can plug it into a uh, wall outlet or some uh, power source also now my last camera guys <sighs> yeah it's hard for me to choose between the black magic and of course this beast the Panasonic Lumix s52 X I love this camera to death this camera man this camera oh my gosh words cannot explain but this camera takes the cake it is to me i feel uh, of course it's hybrid not like the black magic which is meant mainly for cinema stuff 
but this pocket i mean this uh s5 2x man this thing is it's like the black magic wrapped up in a dslr body that's how i feel i mean it shoots 6k as well just like the black magic does uh excuse me if i'm rubbing my nose like crazy my allergies are kicking my butt today but yeah this camera it really man it, it does every job <laughs> it really does i've been using it a lot recently for uh, a documentary a film i've been working on documentary set and uh this camera man it, it does not overheat it, it has cooling in it as well so that's perfect so i don't have to worry about it overheating i shot for man we were out there for like two days in the heat shooting never had any worry the battery life lasts it's real good and this one it gives up to i think it's two hours and change run time depending on what you plan on shooting so yeah yeah it gives up to two hours 49 minutes two hours and 49 minutes of run time and that's uh shooting at 1080 and and oh and i have to say man the 1080p image off of this man the 1080 image is awesome it's surprisingly good uh, and honestly if i was to compare the 1080 on this to the 4k on the r or the r6 yeah i prefer the the 1080 coming out of the panasonic and then the the 4 I'm, I'm loving the fact that it shoots from 1080 all the way up to 6k Oh, this thing is a beast, guys. I love this camera, and I'm honestly thinking about getting more. I'm, I'm honestly thinking about trading in my Canons and getting a second one. Because at this point, I could just run everything off the Panasonics and the Blackmagic. And the, and the great thing about the Panasonics is the image on this matches up great with the Blackmagic. I loved it. But anyways that's all four of my cameras and the purpose behind them like i said the r is my go-to for stuff like this social media stuff r6 is use is 90 percent my go-to for gimbal work shooting music videos uh anything i need uh with gimbal the black magic is my go-to for talking head stuff commercial stuff and uh and and short films and my s5 2x panasonic s5 2x is my go-to for run and gun things that that still give me a great look and, and can match up with my black magic and also dock stuff uh which now honestly i feel like the panasonic in turn is going to turn around to being my main body for everything because it gives great images as well i actually used it last so um my last music video on this page i shot started with the r6 and then uh the scenes on that music video where uh the driving scenes where where the artist is in the truck driving i shot that with the s5 2x and yeah man the image qual and that was at 1080 yeah the image quality and that oh man yeah so <laughs> panasonic is gonna take over they are anyways that's that on that so now when it comes to lenses what lenses do i prefer to use so usually 90 99 percent of the time when i'm shooting on the r i'm gonna keep what is on there right now which is the 24 to 105 f4 lens that is what's gonna be on the on the r 90%, 99% of the time, the 24 to 105 f4 RF lens. I love that lens. I love that lens. It's it's honestly my go-to lens a lot of the time when I'm out shooting and uh, or traveling with this camera or doing anything that requires me to honestly go far away and I don't want to worry about if my camera gets stolen and such. Uh, so that lens always stays on the EOS R. Now, when it comes to EOS R6, uh, I always keep the 35 mil on this one, the 35 1.8 RF lens on this. And I do have two other RF lenses that I like to use. 
Uh, but they don't really come into play too much with a lot of the stuff I do. I do have the 16 mil and I do have the 50 mil. Now, I will utilize them if I'm going to be doing back and forth with like photo slash video with the R6. Then I'll use those lenses. And, and especially in like very low light situations, like if I'm doing a club shoot. Yeah, I'm going to walk with those lenses as well. So that way, 16, I can get a, a grand shot. Of, of what's going on, how wide, how, how packed the place is. 50 mil to get more of a close-up shot and make it look even more cut and condensed in the space. Uh, and that goes for weddings as well too. The wedding 16 mil comes in handy, very handy to catch like the grand scenery of everything. And then 35 mil is my go-to. Like I said, I love to keep that on this body. That is my favorite lens. That is literally my favorite prime lens, the, the 35 mil. So that stays on this body 99% of the time as well. Well, 90% of the time, unless I got to swap out with the 16 or the 50 mil. But the 35 mil, I love it because it, it gives me a perspective whether I'm close or far of if I'm further away with the, the 35 mil, I, I can still get a shot that looks uh, relatively wide. Or if I'm very close, I can get a shot that looks real, real close. Like I'm, I'm using something else, like I'm using a 50. So I love that with the 35 mil. Now, when it comes to the Black Magic Pocket 6K, I keep the Rokinon 35 uh, mil T1.5 Cine lens on this camera. That is my go-to on this. I do have also the 14 mil and uh, 85 mil, but I, I honestly don't even use those lenses. They just sit in my bag. <laughs> But yeah, my the, the the lens that stays on this is the 35 mil because it's perfect for talking headshots in in whatever space I'm in. Now with the Panasonic S52X, I only have one lens for that, and that's the lens that came with the camera, the kit lens, the 20 to 60. But that kit lens is a beast, man. That kit lens looks awesome. So. I have no, and it's a, a 3.5, uh, f3.5. I have no problems with that lens. I have no issues. I've never ran into to any need to want to purchase anything else. And if I want to use another lens, I do have the um, adapter, the L mount to EF adapter, which is perfect, which works out awesome for me. So if I want to slap on a cine lens for any reason, because those are the only EF lenses I have or cinema lenses. If I want to, I could slap one of the cinema lenses onto the body. So that's it. That's it for cameras and lenses. Now on to audio. What do I use for audio? So right now I'm coming to you guys off of my Sennheiser uh, condenser mic right here. I don't know exactly what kind it is. I just know it's a Sennheiser. I'm, I'm not big into audio, which I really should get into because I got to get a lot better with my audio work. But, and as y'all saw with the Canon and the Panasonic, I have the little Rode mic, Rode mics, uh, I think they're Rode mic pros. Uh, and then I also have a Movo, uh, you can see it right there. I also have Movo um, lavalier mics. So that is it, I, that is all I have for audio. That's it. I'm I'm basic when it comes to audio, and I do need to step my audio game up. That is one thing I know I have to do to get better with a lot of stuff I do is my audio work. And I also have the Tascam. I think it's DR, DR something. I'll, I'll drop it down on the bottom. But I have that as well. That is my go-to, especially if I'm if I'm uh, in an area where I know I can't really walk with too much audio stuff. Um, I usually walk with that as a as a backup and put it right place it right next to the person I'm interviewing. But yeah, that's it, guys. That is all I have for what gear I use: uh, cameras, Canon EOS R, Canon R6, Blackmagic Pocket 6K, Panasonic Lumix S52X. That is all I have. And these are all great cameras, and they all serve different purposes. But they all get the job done. Uh, but of course, like I said, I might be switching to Panasonic full time because I love the image quality of that thing, especially for video work. Oh man, Panasonic is great for video work. 
great. I, I can't lie. I can't lie. Canon, y'all got y'all got some ways to go. Y'all got some ways to go. But you're you're still great. You're still good for photos. You're good for photos. <laughs> but that is all, guys. Let me get off of here. Where am I at right now? 15 minutes. Ugh. I always push it. I never stay under 10. Anyways, peace. On to the next video.